There's a lesson to be gained from being maimed I probably understand it if she didn't eat my brain so It's kind of funny when you think of the times that opportunities the Over the course of many years I dated girls who were damaged goods, basically And honestly, I was really drawn to this type of woman because I saw an opportunity in that to basically prove myself Prove myself to them, prove myself to myself, to demonstrate basically what I felt I never really got a chance to really demonstrate growing up. And the reason why I felt I never got to demonstrate uh, much of myself in this regard as well as others is because of religion. In my past, I dated these girls who uh, were seriously damaged, they had a lot of baggage, and I thought, wow, well this would be a great opportunity for, you know, if they've been treated like shit, then they'll, they're definitely going to love what I do for them, because I go all out, I do this, I do that, and all the things that they hate, and I stay away from that, I don't do that, I'm just going to totally sweep them off their feet, uh, I'm going to overwhelm them basically as much as I can. <laughs> for the most part, I tended to do that, uh, and it would go that, that route for the first little bit, and they would love it. And I think they would genuinely love it, but then it would turn into discomfort and fear for them because it made them something that they weren't comfortable being, which was vulnerable. And it made them feel like they were, they made them feel obligated to trust the guy on a level that they weren't comfortable with. It also acted as a mirror to them. I have the knack for being really observant and for wanting to communicate everything and to somebody who's used to hiding things and ignoring things that they need to deal with this tends to open Pandora's box uh, quite quickly. What ended up happening in a lot of those relationships is they would suddenly just start treating me like shit without any explanation whatsoever. Sometimes it was literally uh, a complete change overnight I would just start getting neglected. I would start getting talked to in a rude way. The excuses I was given uh, would make no sense considering the relationship that we'd started building at that point. It didn't make any sense why I would suddenly just be a non-existent to them. At first I would gently sort of like, uh, is everything all right? Like what, what's the problem here? And it would eventually turn into um, the destruction of the relationship basically. I would find out that, uh, oh, you know, because it was going so well, it made them really fear commitment or it made them really realize all the things that they weren't ready for, all the things that they would need to deal with. So they just, you know, they needed to focus on themselves and I'd be like, okay, well that's obviously a good thing. It's, you know, it sucks that, uh, you know, it means that we're probably not gonna be able to be together, but uh, why does that mean that you needed to treat me like shit in the process? Why did, why did I deserve the way that you went about this? And um, sometimes they would tell me, before it kind of got all terrible, they would tell me, yeah, you know, I need to work on myself. You know, they would try to do it while still being in the relationship and then they would still treat me like shit. So this was really frustrating for me, especially when it happened again and again and again. You know, you try to do things, at least I generally try to do things differently and a little better each time I attempt a relationship. <laughs> I try not to repeat mistakes, but it's amazing how often this happened. So the first song on my EP is called What the Fuck, because that's pretty much the best way to sum up how it felt to go through that every single time. Uh, that was pretty much my state of mind during the whole time of the confusion and of the sudden change in behavior and the neglect and the reasonings afterward. It was just sort of like, what the fuck? So the song is very whimsical and over the top. And I'm curious as to who can relate. When this comes out on my EP, be sure to let me know if this, anything about this song, whether you're a guy or girl, whatever, if anything about it resonates with you. So it's basically about, yes, I know you need to do a good thing for yourself, that's great, it sucks for me, but whatever, you know, that's, that's good that you need to do that, but uh, is there any reason why um, I needed to be burned in the process of uh, not being told this or of being told this? The theme of being treated the way that you certainly did not deserve is, is something that I wish I didn't know so well. And I'm sure many of you could feel the same way about many of your past relationships, so. 
expect one of these videos for each one of my new songs. Uh, I have a lot to share that I think many people will be able to relate to. Foibles in Fiction out July 18th, 2018 on digital stores worldwide. What the fuck? You'd have to take us to anyone else.